Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to my channel. So we've not had much luck with the weather lately. I think I got one day in about the last three weeks. So it's not been great. But anyway, today is a little different. Um, I'm off on a little trip today to go to London to the Royal Observatory in Greenwich. And I've actually got Glenn from Astro Bloke gonna join me, which should be fun. So if you wanna come along for the journey, you might get to see a slightly bigger telescope than the one behind me. This is platform one. We've got cross bridge. Oh, we've got cross bridge. Right. You work this one out well, Glenn. <laughs> well bon appetit. DLR, Docklands Light Railway. Uh, to Greenwich. Okay. So we go straight to, straight, so what we do, we get this, it will go to Canoe, well, when we get to Poplar we change and then we take it down there. Going up. Here, yeah, let's go. Your phone's in it. Uh -huh. Hey. Ooh. Awesome. Good stuff. Oh, so this is the famous Cutty Sark. Yeah, that's the Canary Wharf. Where all the money is. So that's the National Maritime Museum. Quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah. See that building up there? Oh yeah. That's the Royal Observatory up there. That's where we're going to walk uphill. It's one of the best views of London from up here. Round two. It's on way up, yeah. <laughs> you ready then? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, all azimuth. Should we have a look? Yeah, let's go in. So it tells you all the degrees that we look at and here, yeah, sorry. Glass plate photography, it was all the plates, that's where plate solving comes from. And then digital photography. But that's an amazing picture. Look at that one there, that prominence. It's awesome, mate. Look, and that's what they started with, sketches. Oh, 
it looks like they've got is that a paramount oh, with a sky watcher on it and a and an edge and a, another one there and a top one there nice so what have they got there they've got a wide they've got a cassegrain 14 inch cassegrain a four inch solar a four inch refractor and a 4.7 inch refractor liking it simon are you liking your trip Brilliant, it's great. <laughs> and then that's the entrance to the planetarium over there. We're trying to find the meridian line, aren't we? Used to be outside, here it is, you see it, there it is. Ah, here we go. That's it. Right, Simon, you ready? Yeah. Watch me, I'm about to do a meridian flip. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Just goes to show it's not as accurate as you want it to be, doesn't it, eh? That should say naught, naught, naught. Close. <laughs> Plus you the science of crab out of it. Stand over there, so I'm gonna do, do a meridian flip. Ready? How's that? Nice, smooth. <laughs> Good movement. Yeah, so the Queen's house is projected off a mirror on the ceiling onto a table below, Simon. And we mm. should be able to see it on the table. Yep. I wonder if the camera will pick it up. Mm. Find Let's out in a minute. Let's go. Stand back from the table. Close your eyes, that's what I'm doing. It can't be real. Smell me for heartburn. Rind of lemon, teaspoon of ginger, and a quart of boiling water. Oh, it smells nice. Yeah. For a weak stomach, grains of caramel flowers, rhubarb, ginger. What's the smell like? They both smell very similar. So I don't know Simon, I think there's a resemblance there, you could be a Herschel mate. You think so? Yeah I do. I'm not sure if it's William Herschel or um, Caroline Herschel, oh. but it's definitely one of them. Thanks mate, appreciate it. So this little reclining chair has a great idea. I think we should all have one of those. This is an astro photographer's outfit on a cold night. Let's sort you out on a frosty night, won't it, Glenn? With just a little bit of maintenance on the GoPro. Stars from the Obsy roof. <laughs> I don't think so. You can have them on your roof if you want. No, I won't. I can't see my roof. Here we are. Bigger than my scope. This ain't gonna be 20 foot, isn't it? That's the drive. Christ. That's awesome. Is all 
tract and moves around. It's a fairly hefty motor to move it. The sherries. <laughs> um, yeah. We're in. That is it. That is the tour. That is the tour. That is incredible, though, isn't it? Eh? Dust Dark Nebula. That is awesome. So much detail in there. We like that one, don't we, Solomon? Yeah, that's lovely. My eyes! <laughs> wow, that's a bit bright. <laughs> yeah, just a tad. Black and white, though, they look good. Yeah. That's got some amazing detail. Oh, look at that detail in black and white. That's incredible. Mm. That's amazing. 14 inch Rasa. Wow. And a QHY 600 mono. Small. It's a nice one. That's the Korean in there below again. Yeah, we can't get that yeah, one for one free. You, mate. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a little bit sharper than mine. <laughs> yeah, it's nice yeah. image though, isn't it? It's a little bit sharper than mine. <laughs> oh, some nice Luna. I like that one. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Very sharp picture. That's oh, incredible. That is incredible. Overall winner. Did that comment here in Old's tail? Deservedly so. Dream Instrument Telescope, never heard of it. Paramount ME2, Mighty Mount 2, the old camera.
forgot why. <laughs> so I am on his name. So, down by the river and time for refreshments. Cheers, mate. Drinks arrived finally. This is not our train. I don't know what we've done Glenn, but we are the only ones left on this train. Are you sure we're on the right train? Yeah. So big thanks to Glenn for yesterday, coming along and making it a really fun day. And for those of you who live in the UK, I can highly recommend a visit to the Royal Observatory in Greenwich. It was a great day and there's lots of other places nearby you can go and visit. There's the Maritime Museum and we were lucky enough to get into the Amateur Astrophotography of the Year exhibition. And those images were just awesome. So um, I'd like to say a big thanks to all of my subscribers I hope you like the video and thanks for watching um, and as always I wish you all clear skies. <laughs>